Oh, China slammed Britain and the United States after they condemned police in Hong Kong for offering bounties for five activists living overseas. The Chinese foreign ministry says that by cheering on anti-China individuals who, it says, bring havoc to Hong Kong, the US and Britain are exposing their, quote, malicious intentions to mess up the city. Authorities have offered rewards of around $128,000 for each activist who has been charged with offences under the national security law as part of a crackdown on those involved in the city's anti-government protest movement. The city's security bureau says police have the responsibility to pursue those who have committed offences. The five join a list of eight wanted persons first announced in July. Steve Lee, Hong Kong's National Security Police Chief, said the allegations against them include the incitement to secessions, incitement to the subversion, and the collusion with a foreign country or with an external element to endanger national security. The five are now in various countries, including the U.S. and Britain. One of them, activist Joey Su, is an American citizen. She told Reuters this showed, quote, the extraterritorial reach of the national security law and the chilling effect that follows. The U.S. State Department on Thursday condemned what it called egregious actions taken by Hong Kong. We deplore any attempt uh, to apply the Beijing-imposed national security law extraterritorially and reiterate that Hong Kong authorities have no jurisdiction within United States borders, where the advocates for democracy and freedom will continue to enjoy their constitutionally guaranteed uh, freedoms and rights. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron also said the U.K., quote, will not tolerate any attempt by any foreign power to intimidate, harass or harm individuals or communities in the country. I decided not to go back to Hong Kong. Early this month, another prominent activist, Agnes Chow, announced that she had traveled to Canada and would jump bail over a national security offense. On Thursday, police said if she did not return to the city to meet her bail conditions, she would become a fugitive. They also said they have arrested four people in Hong Kong for providing funds to two other wanted activists now based overseas. The first such arrests on financial assistance grounds under the national security law.